Hello, my name is Sister Vivian Stanford. I'm coming to you from Agape Christian Worship Center. Our devotional today is going to be on hide and seek. So I just want to take a few moments to talk to you about hide and seek. So remember maybe when we was growing up or when you was growing up, there was a game we used to play called hide and seek. The rules was very simple. The one person that was the, the person that was it will count and the rest of the people will go and hide. So once they finish counting, they'll hollow out, ready or not, here I come. So then they'll go and try to find the, the people that was hiding. So anyone that was maybe got found, they would hurry up and run and try to get to home station so they wouldn't get tagged to become it. They'll be the person that has to stay and count and they wouldn't have the fun to go and run and hide anymore. So doesn't that sound like a fun game, you know, to play as kids? But you know, as an adult, we can't play hide, you know, we can't hide ourselves from God, right? So do you think that anyone uh, tried to play hide and seek with God? Do you remember the story of Adam and Eve, you know, after uh, they had eaten the fruit that God had told them not to eat? And so they was ashamed of what they had done, right? And they didn't want God to find them. So what did they do? They ran and hid themselves in the garden. Did God find them? Sure he did. So, you know, we can't hide from God, as I mentioned before. So, and another thing I want to talk to you about, do you remember the story of Jonah? Jonah tried to play hide and seek with God. Remember when God told Jonah to go to the city of Nineveh and preach to them, you know, to tell them to stop sinning? When you get a chance, read the story on Jonah. And what he did is that he bought a ticket and he went on the ship in the opposite direction of what God told him to go. So what did Jonah do? He ran from God and tried to hide. So let's look at Psalms 139, verse 7 to 10. And I'm coming to you from the New International Version. Number 7 says, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Number eight says, if I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in depths, you are there. Number nine says, if I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea. And number 10 says, even there your hands will guide me. Your right hand will hold me fast. So God may have a job for you and I to do. But you have to ask yourself, and I have to ask myself, when he calls, will we go? Will we go where he asking us to go, where he's sending us? Or will we try to run and hide? After all, where are we going? Where can we hide? As my mom used to say, where are we going? Where are you going? So some people might try to go like in a high place to hide. You know, they might try to hide behind their friends. But as I stated, we can't hide from God. So why does God call you and I? Now, when God calls us, he calls us for a reason, right? But he doesn't see anyone who hasn't got a talent because everyone has a talent or there's something to offer. They have something to offer that God can use for his glorification. Okay, so the Bible tells us that God chose David to be the king of Israel, right? So let's look at Acts 13 and 22. So 22 says, After removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. So I ask you, do you think there was a time that David wished he could hide from God? But he knew it was impossible, right? So let's listen to the words of David. So let's look at Psalms 139, verse 11 and 12. And again, it's a new international version that I have. So verse 11 says, If I say, surely the darkness will hide me, and the light become night around me. Number 12 says, Even the darkness will will not be dark to you. The night will shine like the day, for darkness is as light to you. So as we know, God isn't playing hide and seek with us. He longs to be found by those who honestly seeks him. The Lord's ready and waiting to reveal himself to you and I 
especially in such a wonderful way if you don't know Christ. So it's an adventure you don't want to miss. So I say to you, ready, set, seek him. So when you get a chance, also, please look at Matthew chapter 7, verse 7 through 8. So you can seek him further in an effective prayer. So with that, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord, for giving us this opportunity to, to share your word, Lord. We ask that you strengthen us, you know, what we have learned from this devotional today, Lord. We ask to, to let each person apply this devotional so, so we don't play hide and seek with you, God. Lord, let us not be like Jonah, you know, to go in the opposite direction, Lord. Lord, just, just help us, Lord, to stay firm in your word, Lord. Not only hearers, but doers of your word. Lord, we ask you to continue to look over our church and bless our church, Lord. And to, especially during these times, Lord, and just keep us all, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And God bless you. Mm -hmm.